How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you what is in my opinion the greatest iPhone security feature ever. It's actually a new feature introduced in iOS 17.3 and it's actually called Stolen Device Protection. And trust me guys, this is absolutely amazing. So today, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the new feature, how it works, how to enable it, and of course, why you should do it right now. Let's get started. Okay guys, so stolen device protection has solely one purpose, and that is to protect you, your iPhone, and your information, of course, your data, in a scenario where your iPhone gets stolen and the thief actually demands your passcode, your lock screen passcode, because with your iPhone and your passcode, that thief can do pretty much anything on your iPhone. They can go ahead here, open up your Apple ID, change your Apple ID information, turn off, find my, and of course, access all your data and pretty much all your life, right? But of course, that's before stolen device protection, because with that feature, they won't be able to do anything. Let me show you. So, first things first, you gotta make sure that you're actually running iOS 17.3 or newer, as I mentioned, right? This is a new feature introduced in iOS 17.3. So go to your general and then about and make sure you're on at least 17.3 or newer, of course. If not, go ahead here and update on software update and then you'll get the new feature, right? In order to enable it, it's super simple. So come back here to the first screen of our settings and then scroll all the way down into face ID and passcode and then you're gonna type in your lock screen passcode right so go ahead and type it in and then scroll just a bit down until you see stolen device protection that's the new feature it's gonna be turned off if you haven't turned on right and then all you have to do is tap on turn on protection and then it's gonna be on just like that. So super easy, super simple, extremely easy to enable. But let me explain you actually how this will protect you and protect your data and save your life pretty much, right? So the way this works is once it's turned on, it's actually gonna create a layer of protection. And this layer of protection is Face ID or Touch ID. So it's your biometric, right? And it's gonna create this layer on pretty much any setting, any adjustment, any action that's remotely important or sensitive on your iPhone. So it's gonna demand Face ID or Touch ID for a bunch of actions on your iPhone. And the list is very long, so I'm just gonna give you a few examples. For example, uh, viewing or using your passwords or pass keys in iCloud Keychain, applying for a new Apple Card, viewing your Apple Card, turning off lost mode, erasing all your content and settings, and the list goes on. Okay, so as you can see right here, anything, any action that's even remotely important or sensitive will require Face ID. So then, if the thief steals the iPhone from you, right, and then drives off or goes away, no matter what they do, even if they have the code, your passcode, they won't be able to do anything because it will ask for Face ID. So, so cool. And it gets even better because for some specific activities, so for some even more sensitive and more important actions on your iPhone, there's even an extra step and that's a time delay. Let me explain you how that works. So for example, for actions like changing your Apple ID password, so super important, right? Updating any information on your Apple ID account, changing your iPhone passcode, turning off Find My. So all of those very, very important actions right here on your iPhone on top of requiring Face ID, when stolen device protection is turned on, there will be a delay. So the way this delay is gonna work is super cool. So uh, they're gonna try and change something here, right? For example, your Apple ID password, and then it's gonna ask for Face ID, and then if the thief manages to, to get your face or something like that, or even bypass Face ID somehow, there will be a one hour countdown before they can actually do anything, before they can actually get to the page that they want, before they can actually edit anything. So there will be a countdown like blocking the screen before they can do anything. And then after that countdown, Face ID will be asked again. 
So, so then it's super safe because they won't be able to do anything because of this one hour wait of this one hour delay this is so so smart and apple is so smart actually that if it recognizes that you are trying to make those changes because sometimes we want to make the changes right not necessarily it's always thieves so if the iphone detects that it's in your house or at your work so your significant locations right where you spend most of your time and the iphone knows that there won't be this delay so it'll automatically understand it's you you are in a safe place in a safe spot so then you just need face id and then you'll be able to update your apple id password and all the, the rest of the list that i mentioned so super super smart so that's pretty much it that's the feature that's stolen device protection hope you enjoy it hope you enable it right away because it can literally save your life all right so Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one as usual. Bye bye guys.